Attention, all true believers. Marvel Comics is on the air. From the annals of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. This week, our fabulous foursome will encounter the dreaded Doctor Doom. And we'll begin our story in just half a moment. This time, the fabulous foursome face their most evil foe. They don't know it now, but Dr. Doom could be one of the immortal escapees from Pandora's box. And if you don't believe me, bring your skeptical little ear a little closer so you don't miss a drop of this adventure. The Fantastic Four. Ah, they are but mere forms in my hands, and it is time to let the phony foursome feel my might. Only I, Dr. Doom, have the power to defeat them. We'll leave Dr. Doom for now and whisk your imagination to the heart of New York City as towering skyscrapers empty their working day population into the streets. One by one, the lights flicker out except those at the top of the Baxter Building, the headquarters of the Fantastic Four. Wow, this is neat. What are you reading, Johnny? A great new comic magazine. Hey, look, doesn't this monster remind you of Ben? You mean our own bashful blue-eyed thing? Oh, yeah? Give me that, you squirt. Hey, that's my book. I'll teach you to compare me to them comic book monsters. Look out, Lumpy. It might get too hot for you. Yeah! You little punk. I'm gonna get you this time. Flame on. Come back here, you matchstick. Come and get me, big boy. And when I do... Knock it off, thing. And this ought to cool you off, little brother. <laughs> uh, sis, we were just having a little fun. Fun? The two of you won't be satisfied until you have pulverized each other. What's the matter with us? Whenever we aren't fighting it out with some enemy of mankind, we're fighting amongst ourselves. Get the lecture, big shot. I don't need you to tell me... Uh, please. Who turned out the lights? Impossible. We have our own generator here. Then how? For the answer, let us look to the sky. Soon this electrified wire mesh will completely enclose the headquarters of the foolish four, and they will be at my mercy. No one can escape my whim. Fantastic Four, heed my words. This is Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom? I thought he was dead. You are my prisoners, all of you. If you wish me to spare your lives, you must be exactly as I say. It really is, Dr. Doom. I recognize that voice. Who is he, Reed? Yeah, who is this creep? Years ago, back in college, there was a student named Victor Von Doom who was fascinated by sorcery and black magic. He was a brilliant science student, but only interested in forbidden experiments. Then one night, he went too far and conjured up powers which even he could not control. He managed to escape with his life, but his face was terribly disfigured. The last I heard, he was prowling the mountains of Tibet, seeking the secrets of the netherworld. And now he... Fantastic Four, you must send up Susan Storm. She shall be my hostage. I'll give him an answer. First I'll snap this puny net of his like I'll snap his... <laughs> Listen, Kroom, you ain't getting Sue. If you want us, you're going to have to come down here and get us. I've got to go up to him, Ben. It's the only way to bring him out in the open. Sue's right. We can't just scare him off. We have to defeat him. There may be more than just the four of us at stake. If you are sending her out, shoot a flare. I will deactivate a section of the men. Ah, good. My plan is working perfectly. Dr. Doom must have vast powers to dare challenge the Fantastic Four. When I draw him out, we'll see what those powers are. I am ready, Dr. Doom. I shall be your hostage. But you will regret defying the Fantastic Four. Look, he's taking Sis aboard his copter. Now that I have the girl, you must all board my ship. Fire a flare signal when you are ready. Give me that flare gun. We're going on his ship, and then we're going to take him. They accept my terms. I knew they would. Reed Richards could not resist. Just the flip of a switch, and they will be mine. Holy smokes, Reed. Dr. Doom's net turned inside out, and it... That's turned into some kind of cage. What does Doom think we are? He must be a real wizard at inventing things. He is an evil genius. We must never underestimate him. Then, with a sudden, unexpected surge, Dr. Doom's helicopter blazes through the sky at an unbelievable speed. We will reach my castle in minutes. 
And in less time than it takes to describe it, Doom's craft has landed, and he's escorting the four to the dreaded doctor's laboratory. Sure is spooky. I'm sure we're safe until Dr. Doom gets what he wants. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna give it to him. Now I will describe your mission. If you carry it out successfully, I shall reward you by returning the invisible girl and sparing your lives. If not... Talk fast, Doom. Yeah, what's the story? I have successfully developed the most incredible invention of the age. A space-time travel device. With it, you shall go centuries into the past and then return to me with the treasure chest of Blackbeard. What? You don't mean... Why don't you go get it yourself? Or I must remain here to operate the device. Wow, a chance to visit the past. What if he never brings us back? I have to bring you back. How else will I get my treasure? Doom, if we don't return, you must promise to release Susan. Done. I only wanted her to lure you here. And now... What's that button? Must be the space-time travel machine. All right, you are, Richard. You mean we've been standing in it all this time? Yes, and you are to return within 48 hours with the chest of Blackbeard's rituals. Do not fail. Now they are gone. Gone to bring me the gems which contain all the powers of the universe. Uh, look, it works. Look where we are. You mean when we are, Johnny, and we've got to move quickly. First, we'll get some clothes to make us look like we belong here. Reed, over there. Austin Reed's clothes in sworn they mine. You miserable dog. You swore you did want to be with me. They're mine, I'm They're mine, I'm dead. I tell you, they're mine, so do you want to make something of it? Yeah, look out, it's a devil in God. I'll never go to stay again. This is perfect. A whole chest of boots and pants. And look at this shirt. I feel like a real swashbuckler. Let me disguise you too, Thing. A fake beard, this hat, and an eye patch. There. Take it easy, Bob. I don't want to suffocate in this monkey suit. Say, you look like the real thing, Thing. Don't get smart, Matchstick. But say, this does feel pretty good. And so disguised, Reed, Ben, and Johnny begin their search for the treasure of Blackbeard. What better place to begin the search than in a local pub? Hi, matey. Hey, what do you say we hustle a couple of these barmaids? Forget it, Thing. We've got to find Blackbeard and his treasure. Right. So let us think. Ah, uh, me thinks those three would be good additions to make room. Aye. Feed them some grog. That'll put them to sleep and be quick about it, laugh. Aye, aye. Refresh yourselves, gentlemen. This round is on my mask. Why, thank you. The service is pretty good here. And this beverage really quenches my thirst. Well, <laughs> Tastes good, too. Gosh, Reed, I'm getting a little sleepy. What's the matter, kid? Can't you hold your beverage? I think they put something in this. Oh, I feel a little woozy. It's done. When they awake, they will do more, baby. Hours later, the thing is first to awaken. Women scuttled. Slowly, silently, he looks about only to find that they're locked inside the musty hole of a pirate ship. This'll be easy. While above deck... Get the prisoners and put them to work and be quick about it, you slimy Since bum. Since when do you give the orders around here, Mr. Sprinty? I'm as fit to command as any. I'll show you who gives the orders around here. Oh, you here. will. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Stand away, right, boy. Oh, Break it up. Oh, damn. I dare. And I'm going to make something of it. Bite off a little more than you can chew. I might say. All right, Johnny. You know, Johnny, I kind of feel sorry for those pirates. Yeah, only 12 of them against one thing. Go get them. Look out. That pulley just missed you, Reed. Came from up there. Wow. That wasn't very sociable of you, mister. <laughs> Mutineers, be ye. A taste of me blade will fix you. Oh, yeah? Flame on. Me sorcery, be ye enchanted. That's a good name for it. 
We're being attacked. To your battle stations. Okay, come on, come on. It's another pirate ship. Good. Maybe it's Blackbeard. See her through this glass? She's loaded with treasure. It could be Blackbeard. This could be the fight of our lives. Hear that, you swabs? We're all in this together, you understand? Aye, my aye, my aye. You guys do just what we tell you. Step aside, mates. I'll warm them up a little first. Flame on! <laughs> Oh, Hi, fellas. I heard your fireworks. Uh, we're being taken over by the fire. That's just a sample. Now I'll turn on the steam. Okay, thing. Johnny set up his steam screen. Let's go. How are we going to get over there, big brain? Like this. I like there's a bridge between the two ships. Oh, hurry up. I can't hold it here all day. Come on, you swine. Hurry up. Hurry up, thing. My back is killing me. It's clobbering time. talking about blackbeard but they're talking about thing amazing i understand it now ben is blackbeard we came back in time to find him and his treasure wow all this stuff it's all yours thing the men have chosen you as their leader kind of looks that way this is terrific we came here to find Blackbeard's treasure, and it's been ours all the time. But it won't be for long. Dr. Doom sent us here, so if he wants it, there must be something evil in it. We let the men divide the booty. And as we promised, we'll return to Dr. Doom with Blackbeard's treasure chest. And the time is nearly up. But how will Dr. Doom find us to bring us back? You two guys can go back if you want to. But I like it here, and I'm staying. Reed, he actually likes being Blackbeard. But you can't stay here, Thing. Why not? The future in the 20th century holds nothing for me. There I'm nothing but a monster, a freak. Here I'm somebody, a leader, a man, a captain. I'm the guy who started the legend of Blackbeard. Kids will read about me at school someday. I ain't giving this up. And at that instant, across the gulf of centuries, a wrinkled hand reaches for the control panel. They have had enough time to get my treasure. They have failed. They shall all die. Oh, oh mate! There's something up in the sky! Doom space-time warp brought us here, and it'll take us back. There's nothing anyone can do about it. We've got the chest, and now Doom wants us. I can't move. This force field has paralyzed me. Don't fight it, thing. We're about to return to the 20th century. Doom's gadgets are really incredible. Yeah, and wait till I get my hands on him. Oh, my three emissaries. You have returned as I knew you would. Oh, yes, Dr. Doom, and we have Blackbeard's treasure chest. Good. With the gems in that chest, I shall have mastery over the world. They originally belonged to Merlin, the ancient sorcerer. He gave them mystical powers to make their possessor invincible. And now that power is mine. Break it open. What? Tricked. I've been tricked. And that's not all you're going to be, Buster. I'll fix you. Ah! There's nothing there. A hologram. Of course, you fools. I'm in my hidden master control room. A room from which I shall now press a button draining the air from your little chamber. <laughs> Farewell, forlorn four. No one can betray Dr. Doom. He's forgotten about me. Being invisible, I can enter his control panel. So many different gadgets here. Space-time, warp locator, shrinking ray aim activate. Oh, there it is. And it's open the escape door. Then we can reach the others in time. I need air. Hang in there, boy. Save your breath. Maybe I can break through the floor. Here. I hope I'm not too late. Now, where's the switch? There. The door is opening. I can breathe. Sue, it's you. Oh, I prayed I'd find you in time. Doom is temporarily out of action in his master control room. While I was up there, I got a look at his control panel. He's got a shrinking ray. This is worth looking into. Where's his control room? Out that door and down the stairs. We'll have to be careful. He's probably got every inch of this place wired. Flame on. I'll scout around and meet you there. 
He'll be recovering by now. Sue, you'd better be invisible, just in case. I hope he's in a bad mood. And within minutes, Reed, Ben, and an invisible Sue Storm reach Dr. Doom's master control room beneath his castle stronghold. It looks like Doom is split. Be careful, Johnny boy. Yeah, that Doom creep could be anywhere. Look at all the stuff he's got here. What's this device over here? It must be some kind of laser projection system. That's how he appeared to be in the same room with us when we returned. This is the control panel over here. It's got a million dials and switches. One here called a hypersonic detector ray. This whole wall's for programming that computer robot. He's got controls here for a shrinking ray. We can see that control panel. Look, he's got this whole place bugged and booby-trapped. I don't see how we got past all his defenses. You have not gotten through them. You are trapped in one. This is my incredible shrinking ray gun. Oh, yeah? Well, I got the control for it right here. I, too, have a control for it, gargoyle, and I can aim it. So what? You can't get all of us at one time. I can broaden the beam, and by setting the intensity to full force, reduce you all to one virgin trillion of your original size. What? And you will be so small that one atom is a solar system, and people live on planets that we call electrons. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Where'd she come from? Good work, honey. Doom, this ray is pointed straight at you, so you'd better not try any funny stuff. Let me give it to him, Reed. You'll never take me. I call on the ghosts and spirits of Carcosa. You have cheated me out of Baron's gems, but I still have the powers of the underworld. You shall pay for your deceit with your lives, Carcosima. You can forget that mumbo-jumbo, Dr. Bloom. Oh, no. I can feel myself getting smaller. That shrinking ray really works. Of course it works. Look, those creatures he conjured up are dissolving. As he shrinks, his powers are decreasing, too. Don't just stand there. Do something. Don't just stand there. Do something. But there is no time. The ray is so fast-acting that within seconds, the figure of the dreaded doctor is fading from sight like a stone dropped into a canyon. And soon, he has completely disappeared. What a way to go. You may have been a little hasty on the trigger there, Ben. We could have... What? That creep was bringing up the devil himself to do away with us. Well, at least you could have warned him. He did the right thing. I guess it's irrelevant. Doom is defeated, and that's all that really counts. We better call the commissioner and get this place boarded up. If all these evil inventions fell into the wrong hands... Don't worry about that, sis. A couple of fireballs ought to do the job. Then nobody, not even Dr. Doom, will be able to use these things. That's a good idea, Johnny. Well, you better let us get out of here before you go playing around like the 4th of July. Come on, Sue. Best way to do this would be to burn from the top down. I'll go out with you and lob the fireballs over Doom's moat. Hey, Reed. What's a virgin, Tillian? Tune in again Monday and witness the Fantastic Four Prisoners of the Puppet Master. 